Five years ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, a giant cooking arena, a kitchen stadium. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On it, cheesy! To realize his dream, he first secretly started selecting the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Masaharu Morimoto. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. The Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from around the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, they're to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. But this man has even bigger dreams. Yes, he is on a quest to see and experience more from around the world. In Paris. in Beijing, in Hong Kong and other exotic locales. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where you will meet the master chefs from around the world and their artistic creations. What inspiration will today's challenger bring and how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, there is no authoritative restaurant guide in Japan. I, of course, was planning to be the first, yet I have found one woman who has the same dream. Not only has she tried the very best restaurants around the world, she also became the very first Japanese woman to be trained at Taiwan the highly acclaimed three-star restaurant in France. It was so important to me to be trained in the kitchen of Taiwan, the best in the world. I want to become a culinary critic that understands the viewpoints of a chef. Ah, good for her. It is my wish to invite her to my kitchen stadium. Today's challenger, a woman who has experience in the elite kitchen of Taiwan, culinary critic Kumiko Kobayashi. She joined the culinary world at a relatively ripe age of 28, a year after marrying star pitcher Shigeru Kobayashi, who led the Tokyo Giants to the pennant. But she soon left for France, alone, to pursue her dreams. And after a year at Cordon Bleu, she made it into Taevon's kitchen. The experience gave me everything, not just the cooking, but also taught me how a top restaurant should be, how guests should be treated. Her creations speak of what she learned at Taevon. She upholds the tradition of true French cuisine. So now, Kobayashi, show us the spirit of French cuisine here in the Kitchen Stadium. I'm going to rely on my classic French skills in this battle.
タイユバンで日本人女性として初めて修行を積んだ挑戦者がやってまいりましたしかもかつての有名ピッチャーの妻さあ皆さん大きな拍手でお迎えくださいタイユバンの厨房を知り尽くした女性料理研究家小林久美子 Entering Kitchen Stadium, the battlefield of top chefs, a beautiful lady walking the red carpet. Trained at one of the toughest kitchens in the world, Taiyavan in France, maybe the country's best three star restaurant, with her teachers up in the royal box. She's set to show the world her stuff. Nice to meet you. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you very much. I'll try to do my very best today. Thank you. The three Iron Chefs, the leaders of culinary trends in Japan. Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi, Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai, and Iron Chef Japanese Masaharu Morimoto. Today, they face a challenger with an impressive, if not intimidating, background. Chef Sakai, please. All right, we get what we want, a French duel with Hiroyuki Sakai. He's one of the first to incorporate Japanese techniques in French cuisine. In fact, his artistic use of color and his sense have earned him the moniker the Delacroix of French cuisine. But as Iron Chef, he must come through against a woman who is trained at one of the top restaurants in France. The pressure's on. Chosen者の夫は現在近鉄バファローです。そこで牛と思ったのですが、ただの牛では面白くないので全身霜降り、年に二十頭しか降ろさないという純粋な和牛を取り寄せました。一頭百五十万円。それでは発表します。今日のテ
The beautiful actress yes. Megumi Oishi, thanks for coming in today. Yes, pleasure to be here. How about it? We have a female chef today's challenger. Right. I hope she does well in today's show. I'm looking forward to seeing her work, yes. Okay, well, we'll see what approach she takes with beef. Maybe we'll see something different today. Right. I look forward to her techniques as well as her feminine style in garnishing the dishes. Okay, well, thanks again for coming in. Thank you. And also with us, he was here for the Mexican battle, artist Korn. Thanks. Thanks for being with us today. Korn, you had Mishima beef before? I've heard the name, but I've probably never had it before. You know, speaking of beef, of course, the techniques of the chef really count, but the quality of the beef makes a big difference. All right. Well, that's why I'm thrilled to be here. Well, glad to hear that. And also today we have the challenger's better half, pitching coach of the Quintets of Buffalo's, Shigeru Kobayashi, who won't be on the panel, but thanks for coming anyway. My pleasure. Okay, coach, first inning so crucial to a pitcher, you know that. So <laughs> how's your wife started out in this game? Is she throwing strikes right out of the gate? Well, she looks very nervous, and I have to admit I'm very nervous too. <laughs> I feel like I'm back on the mound, feeling nervous before the first pitch. All right, pitch. We'll get that shoulder loose. And, of course, our commentator, Dr. Yukio Hattori. Doc? Always a pleasure. Fukuizan! Go, Ota. Unfortunately, the first news that I have today is that the challenger has cut her hand. What? Oh, oh no, cut God. her fingers? Oh, no. oh, dear. Right out of the gate, she cuts her hand, and that's the report. Is she okay? I think she sliced the fillet into thin layers, and she's now pounding on them to make them even thinner. Well, what do you think she'll do with that now, then? Probably gonna wrap something in it. Hmm, okay, and we still gotta get a little word on that cut hand. Fukuizan? Yes? When the Iron Chef first tasted the beef, you know, when it was still raw before right. it was cooked, he said it tasted quite fatty, but now after braising it or frying it for a minute or two, he says it's really sweet. Sweet? Sweet beef? Yeah, it's sweet and has a really nice aroma. Huh. All right. Fukuizan? Yes. In this frying pan, the Iron Chef has simply olive oil, ribeye cut, salt, and pepper. Okay, a conventional start to that one. And now the challenger is pasting something onto the thin it slices. It looks like foie gras. Foie gras paste? No. How about peanut butter? Huh? Fukuizan? <laughs> Go ahead. Yes. This is foie gras mousse. Okay, foie gras mousse applied to the beef pasted on there. And today, perched up in the royal box, the challenger's mentors. To the left is Chef Daniel Martin, her teacher when she attended Cordon Bleu cooking school in Japan. He's the serious one there. And Jean-Paul Chiervo, who also taught her. He's now a chef at Taiwan Robuchon's Tokyo branch. And she has several other supporters up there, colleagues and such, to view her in the battle today in Kitchen Stadium. Fukuizan? Yes. I have some more information about the challenger's injury. Okay. She cut her hand close to her left thumb. Mm. Now, remember, Ow. this happened when she was slicing the filet mignon that she just applied the foie gras mousse to a minute ago. Okay, and that's not a bandage there. That's just regular duct tape. Kobayashi-san, do you think she's okay? She's really hurrying from the outset, and then she cut her finger. Now, Iron Chef's side, the flame shooting skyward from this one. Okay, he's working on the ribeyes. Okay, the ribeye pieces from earlier. And he's added some wine, some red wine to this. All right, well, Oishi-san, so far it all looks good to you? Yes, grilled, stewed, sauteed, anything. It all looks Raw. great. Yes. <laughs> Fifteen minutes have elapsed. Okay, I can see the challenger pulling out some ham here. Right. Now she's going to put that yes. on spinach. And the ham will actually add saltiness to the vegetable. Huh. And how would she finish this one we're looking at? I imagine she will roll this. And then braise it, maybe? But uh, this is quite unique, matching up ham with beef. Oh, yes, really. And look, she's trying to work frantically with her hand taped up there. Her movements, of course, hampered, and that's going to affect her performance today. It's a real tough break. Fukuizan? Yes. Here inside the Iron Chef's pressure cooker, mm -hmm. he has the sautéed ribeye cuts, red wine, fond de veau, veal stock, onions, and garlic. All right, and here's a slow-mo replay of what he was doing with that. Okay, yeah, the garlic's added. And the onions quartered, not chopped up. Iron Chef Sakai today being challenged by a female chef, Kumiko Kobayashi. She also doubles as a culinary Critic. Okay, see, she's rolling it up now. The ham and spinach inside the beef. It's so big when it's rolled up. Like a Sunday newspaper. Now, the mm. question is how she's going to cook this. Yes. Mm. Mm. She's just perfecting the shape now. She could wrap another layer of something around this or just start grilling or yeah. frying it. But now with the plastic wrap, yeah, go ahead. The Iron Chef is sauteing top sirloin with soy sauce, olive oil, salts, together with awamori, a spirit made in Okinawa. I asked him why he's using awamori for sauteing, and he said, I'm trying to control or cut down on the fat in this marbled beef. Huh. Awamori, an alcoholic spirit from Okinawa. 
right there. That has a little bit of a strong smell to it. Now, maybe he's going to use that smell to control the oiliness Squeeze of on. the beef. Go ahead. The challenger is now using cocoa powder. Huh? Mm. What? This is a first for me. I, I like cocoa, I like beef, but together? This is a new technique here. Mm. Coating beef chunks with cocoa powder. Squeeze on. Take it. I have some comments from Daniel Martin in the Royal Box, and he says Kumiko specializes in meat dishes. She's got a perfect opportunity today if she doesn't let the injury bother her. Mm -hmm. He told her to remember what he taught her, and she'd do well. She's number one, he said. All right, good report, Ota. Thanks. Kumiko Kobayashi, the first Japanese woman to be accepted into and graduate from the Academy at the Kitchen of Taiyuba. Right. Squeeze on. Yes. The Iron Chef has just put a roasting pot into the oven, and in it he has this sirloin sautéed in awamori, plus he's added to that soy sauce, sugar, garlic, thyme, and some of the extra fat from the beef. All right, got it there. Okay, now the Iron Chef is really creative using fat of the beef here. Mm. Now, on the other hand, I can see the challenger using vanilla beans. Ah, huh? to go with the cocoa powder? I think so, yeah. Vanilla and cocoa, mm. huh? Sounds delicate. Huh. Ah, oh, yes, that's right, yes. And walnuts, too, with cocoa, vanilla beans. It's got to be a dessert. Yes, that sounds that's right. Kobayashi-san, you look a little concerned about the proceedings. Squeeze on. Yes. I asked the challenger about the beef smothered with cocoa powder, and mm -hmm. she said it may look new and avant-garde, but right. it's actually a very classic French dish. Huh? A classic? Oh. Hmm. Oh. And uh, we see some is it ground beef. Yes, he has ground the beef, the Mishima beef, and he's also added onions in this. Hmm. Maybe he's going to have a raw item. A steak tartare stuffed in tomatoes? Yeah, so Could far it, it looks like that, yeah. Hmm, as an appetizer? As far as I can tell so far. And he's added some chopped parsley, and now an egg goes in there. Hmm. It looks almost like Korean steak tartare. <laughs> 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 All right, wait a sec here. Kobayashi the challenger is off the man, has gone to the dugout to change the bandage, and oh, this is going to hurt now. Coach, worried about your wife? Well, I am, but uh, she's in the game now. It's up to her to stick it out to finish this. All right. You're not cutting her any slack. <laughs> no, that's what she used to tell me when I was pitching. <laughs> she always got on my case when I didn't finish the game. Well, you're right. She'll have no relief help from the bullpen in this game. Both you two know what it takes to get a win, I'd say. And Coach, he'll be watching his wife finish the game today. Now, what do we have here? Sugar? Looks like sugar. It's sugar. Granulated sugar. Mm. Maybe making a dessert here. That could be possible. I think maybe she's going to melt the granulated sugar. Hmm. Into a syrup, maybe. Yeah, it's most likely going to be a dessert. All right, more sweet stuff from the challenger. Squeeze on. Yes, take it. I have more comments for the challenger from John Paul Ciervo in the Royal Box, okay. who told the challenger to just calm down and believe in herself. He says, I can't do anything for you up here except cheer you on, but give it your best, and you can do it. All right, Martin, with the worried expression, though, and all of Kobayashi's teachers concerned with their star pupil work working with her injured hand. Coach, your wife? No, she responded to that. <laughs> well, your wife, you, you gotta be proud of that girl. <laughs> Looks like she's starting to settle down. Well, in another life, if she were a man, maybe she would have outpitched you. <laughs> All right, let's go over to the Iron Chef's side, now stuffing the tomatoes with some steak tartare, stuffing them to the max there. Squeeze on. Yes. Let me just refresh your memory on what he's stuffing these tomatoes with here. Okay. Minced filet mignon, onions, anchovies, capers, Tabasco sauce, two types of scallions, egg yolks, and pepper. All right, and they look great as usual. Just hard sitting here watching and waiting. 30 minutes have elapsed. Hey, check out the Iron Chef. He's cooking it shabu-shabu style, huh. dipping the meat into hot water. All right, 30 minutes gone, and yes, that's what he did. Today, it's a French-on-French -French cuisine battle using the best beef you can get in Japan, Mishima beef, and we've already passed the halfway point. Now he's lightly dipping the beef slices into hot water. And did he do anything else to them? Yes, I saw him sprinkling something on it. Really? All yeah, right. It looked well, like lemon juice. Did. Yeah, shabu shabu style of cooking here, literally seconds. Then added lemon. I didn't see that. Huh. And then he's put the slices on top of the stuffed tomatoes, a double dose of today's theme ingredient in this dish. Cuisine? Yes. As we just saw in the instant replay, uh, he cooked the sirloin shabu shabu style before adding it on. Okay, oh, sirloin okay. slices. And sorry, yes. uh, I asked the Iron Chef how he feels about using Mishima beef, and he said, for a chef, it doesn't get any better than this. It's a luxurious honor. This could be my first and last time to use it. I guess I should also thank the bulls, too. All right. <laughs> yes, he and we should be grateful. Only about 20 head of cattle a year are available the marbled beef, 
the best, simply the best in Japan. Oishi and Corn, you two hit the tasting lottery oh, today. Oh, yes, I feel so lucky. Okay, the Iron Chef has pulled out some wood shaving sheets here. Yes, Japanese chef. on Yes, go ahead. About this wrapping the Iron Chef is using, mm -hmm. he says that the woody aroma will give it a really nice smoked flavor. Okay, now that means he's going to grill this even more. In the oven? And look, there's some miso. miso right, miso. And beef. Adding a little bit of miso onto the surface of the meat. It's a Japanese technique. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. right, The aroma yeah. will be nice. And some of that will waft over this way, I'm sure. Fukuizan? Yes. I tried to get some more details about this item that the Iron Chef has wrapped in uh -huh. the wood sheets, and all he would tell me is that it's going to be perfect. All right, Sakai, pulling out all the stops. I still think he's going to put this back in the oven. One more time? Yeah, he hinted at that because he wanted a smoked flavor. All right, yes, Hattori, that's right, he did. And now two, three sheets, double, triple wrapping. Fukuizan? Yes. I'm on the Challenger site now, and remember the beef cubes smothered in cocoa powder? Right. Well, now melted granulated sugar has been added to that. Okay, simmering right there. The surface is really shiny, pretty. Sugar added to the beef with cocoa, too. Now, that's not that unusual if you don't count the cocoa. <laughs> it's a Japanese way of doing braised beef. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. Sugar's added in many of the braised meat dishes, actually, with soy sauce, of course. And this is also a dish on the Challenger side here. Well, this is a pie, wrapped in a pie dough. Fukuizan! Go! On these pie crusts is a combination of shallot onions, olive oil, beef, morel mushrooms, a type of cooking style that the Challenger calls gras biando. Huh? She has cooked these together and chilled them in the fridge before putting them on these pie crusts. What the heck is gras biando? <laughs> well, you know the word fun, right? Uh-huh. A stock, so to speak. Right. You keep cooking it until it becomes thicker, yet translucent. Huh. What? You make wow. it thicker by cooking it? Right. So it's a very thick fond de veau, or stock of veal. All right, Hattori, we're up to speed on it now. So this has a thick flavored soup in it. In layman's terms, meat pies. Yeah, right, exactly. Now, if you check out the Iron Chef here, the wood-wrapped oh, item is yes. coming out. Fukuisan! Yes, go. I asked the Iron Chef about the miso he used on this. It's called Shinshu miso. It's a light miso. I asked why he used this particular type, and he said, I believe this miso will match perfectly with the flavor of the quality Japanese beef. After smoking it in the wood sheets, it will be excellent. All right, but wouldn't the wood sheets burn in the oven? Well, it should at least char. All right, that's what he wants, I guess, for the smoked effect. Well, that's what he was implying. Now we find something on the Iron Chef's side here. Okay, this is the fat he took off from the sirloins. The fat all scrunched up there. Yeah, now I think he's going to make them really crispy here. Oh, yeah, it looks really crispy. See, if you go to a steakhouse, at the end they prepare the fat like this and mix them with the garlic to make fried rice. Right. Cuisine? Yes. About these crispy fried fat bits, the Iron Chef says he wouldn't do this with other beef, but with Mishima beef, it's more than okay, it will taste wonderful. That's correct. Other beef would be far too heavy. Yeah, but people got to ask, where's the beef? Uh, okay, well, when you look at it, it looks heavy, but it should well, be very, very light. All right, 20 minutes to go as the fat sizzles and shrinks. And here on the Challenger side in the oven, it's... Um, figs. Figs, yes. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Despite the inauspicious beginning, the Challenger mm. looks like she's enjoying the battle. Her comments were, ever since I agreed to do this show, I've been training myself extra hard to prepare. No time or effort is wasted, and I'm not giving up until the final verdict is in. Good for her. She's not conceding anything. Okay, now at all. look at the Challenger over here. What is this? What? Hmm. What? what Was did this she... tea or something? Oolong huh? tea? She put the meat into some kind of tea? Maybe English black tea. Say, Coach, tell me what, is this the type of food you get at home? Is this what she serves up at the dinner table? I've never seen anything like this in our <laughs> kitchen. Fukuizan? <laughs> yes. I think this is consomme, a broth of some kind. All right, consomme. Okay. I think she'll be using the consomme again later. Mmm, it should taste wonderful. Maybe for a stew or something. Okay. The beef in the consomme simmering on uh, the stove? Yes. Fukuizan? Yes. The strings that she's tied around this meat block are to make sure that the shape of the meat is maintained. All right, that sounds simple enough. Go. 15 minutes left. Flip, flop, fry. What's the Iron Chef got going? Okay, now that's the fat he was working on a Fukuizan? minute ago. Okay, yes. In the Iron Chef's fried rice, he has included a unique combination of garlic and sugar. Sugar and garlic? Right. Yes, and he's also added the crispy fat bits. All right, the key flavor. We're back, Iron Chef side. The fried rice just came off. Okay, now I think he's planning to have the panel understand just how good fat can taste if taken from quality beef. Looks very much like a pilaf there. Well, he's frying it. Yes, you're right. Yep, a deep frying job, and now these are the Challenger's meat pies, right? Yeah, it's usually, well, sometimes grilled, but she chooses to fry it. It's like a Russian meat pie. 
I think I can imagine just what these will taste like. They'll be delicious. Okay, now the texture should be really crispy yet tender. All right. Fukuzan? Yes. The Iron Chef has been spooning some things into these small cups. The creamy top layer is a mixture of pureed broad beans, water, and milk, while underneath is, uh, let's see, ah, minced onions in consomme gelatin. All right, don't know where he's going with this one. Well, maybe he'll put what's in the oven on top of this. Hmm. Nah, nah, that's, sorry, lost my mind for a moment. Mm, along work. with the tomatoes, <laughs> I think. Oh, yeah, that's better, thanks. So this would be an appetizer then. Right, and it looks like one per person, just like the tomatoes. And now now, challenger Kobayashi has started to get a dish down herself onto the plates. Ah, uh, so with the cocoa beef from before. Yes, a French classic is what she told us it is. Well, I still can't believe it's this a classic. Is sweet doc? Mm. Of course. And with the big beef roll? Yes, that one is being worked on right now by her assistants. Still raw or maybe rare? Raw? Oh, raw? Uh? Well, I can't wait to taste this one. Wow. Wrapped with foie gras paste and... Now, is she going to serve this raw? Fukuizan? Yes. Just to review how she prepared this beef roll, she first pounded the filet mignon to make it thinner, then after salt and peppering it, she added foie gras mousse. Then mm -hmm. she added a layer of steamed spinach and then a layer right. of ham before rolling it. Finally, she put it into the fridge to chill. It's raw. Oh, okay. Maybe she did it because the beef is so rare, this Mishima beef. She wanted one item to enjoy the flavor in the raw. Right? I think you can call this a variety of carpaccio. How about Mishma beef carpaccio? Mm. And now the Iron Chef, he doesn't stop. Caviar on top. Look at that. Okay, I think I understand. The shabu shabu, uh -huh. which was uh, the beef dipped in hot water, was not flavored much. So he's adding saltiness with the caviar. Now right. the consomme adds a subtle yet profound taste to this. You know, he's being very creative in the way he's combining these. Uh, consomme jelly, so to speak. Yeah, that's right, exactly. Okay, less than go. five minutes now, the five minute mark. Okay, Look. now the smoke grill is out of the oven. It's coming out. Mm. Looking great. With wood sheets, lightly smoked. Right, Fukuizan. exactly. Go. I mentioned to the challenger that there's less than five minutes left, and she said, I'm sure I'll finish the four dishes I had in mind. I've forgotten all about the pain in my hand. I think I'm on a roll. Then she asked, does that sound too arrogant? <laughs> Not at all. She cut herself right out of the gate. We were all worried that would hamper her performance, but what a competitor, a real gamer. She's hung in there, and she's even having a good time, still fired up about winning this battle. Our hat's off to her. Fukuizan? Yes. The Iron Chef's pressure cooker has just been opened again. He opened it a while ago, but the food wasn't done at that time. This time, however, with a big smile on his face, he said, talk about perfect. All right, this is the one. Oh, boy, that looks very good. Oh, whose mouth wet and water getting a close-up of this? Okay, sure, some fat, but not greasy at all. It should taste great. Okay, back to Kobayashi's side. She has placed some foie gras on top of the beef blocks and vegetables here coming onto the plate for a stew, maybe? Uh, I believe so. I'd be giving it more body, I think. All right, and then she's got that dish, the one with the cocoa and vanilla beans, beef in with both of them, and I guess it's for dessert. I think so, yeah. And she also has the figs in it too, so yes, it's got to be a dessert. A lot of sugar on mm, top. Right. Oh, yeah. Raspberry, sugar, vanilla, and cocoa. It'll be sensuously, seriously sweet. Sweet. Yes. <laughs> I told the Iron Chef that the tasters will be eating four or five meat dishes before he serves even one uh -huh. of his, and he said, yeah, I know. That's why I'm trying to offer dishes that are less greasy, with Japanese soy and vinegar, and one with stuffed tomatoes. He says, I am thinking. That's right, Ota. The Iron Chef always goes second. He has to keep that in mind to impress the panel. One the tasters, a subtle looking dish, one minute left, the final 60 seconds. Okay, definitely a feminine touch here. You wouldn't really yes. uh, expect oh. Sakai to be doing something like this before serving. No, you wouldn't. He'd go for the wine, but here the challenger and her sense of decoration on display, the last minute ticking. Bottom of the ninth, two outs, but who's winning? We don't have a scoreboard, Kobayashi-san. Can your wife, the young Finan, be the winning pitcher? Or Sakai, the seasoned veteran, velocity gone, but experience and guile. Too much for the newcomer? 30 seconds, to go. 30 seconds left. Kobayashi entered her hand in the first inning, but she's managed to keep bringing the heat the rest of the way and gutted it out in this battle. The Iron Chef, calm as usual, just what you'd expect. Seconds to go. 15 seconds left, just a few finishing touches. Now look at that left hand. The challenger, go. after the tasting, she'll be congratulated by her husband, who's been with us all through this battle Five today. Seconds. Five seconds left. The cocoa Three, sauce getting two, splashed on one. right at the finish. That's it. The cooking's done. The Mishima beef battle is over. You had that accident at the beginning, but yes. after that, you seem to um, get into a rhythm. Oh, really? Tell us about it. Well, I was just trying to do my best until the last minute. I'm really satisfied that I pulled it off. Mm -hmm. And you're satisfied with the results?
Yes, well, I did my best. It should be okay. How was it? Well, today, uh, I was using what I'm a little more familiar with, you know? Uh-huh. But uh, the beef is the marbled beef. It's a little sweet, so I tried to combine it with the vegetables to control the taste so that it's as light as possible. Did you succeed? Ah, uh, okay, I think, yeah. Challenger Kobayashi is offering four dishes. First, filet carpaccio rolls, foie gras paste, spinach and ham rolled with thin slices of raw beef filet to enjoy the raw flavor of top quality Mishima beef. Second, beef filet pie, flavored with the classic French sauce, Perigou sauce, using fond du veau, stock of veal and truffles. Sirloin and consomme stew, a healthy dish with the perfect harmony between the body of Mishima beef and the sweetness of vegetables. Last, caramelized sirloin, another classic French dish using cocoa powder and vanilla beans, a meat dish that almost qualifies as a dessert. Iron Chef Sakai has five dishes. First, steak tartare in tomato cup. Knowing the panel will go through the challenger's dishes first, he starts with the refreshing appetizer. It matches well with the soup with consomme and broad beans. Second, ribeye red wine stew and garlic rice. This combination maximizes the quality of the meat and the fat of Mishima beef. The crispy fat pieces in the garlic rice accentuate this course. Beef consomme soup, truly a professional work, simple yet profound, fine-tuned by skillfully controlling the meat's flavor. The foie gras adds body. Fourth, sirloin grilled in wood sheets. The wood sheets in the oven add a touch of a smoked flavor. He also added miso paste to give it a Japanese flavor as well. It's served with asparagus and potatoes. Last, white asparagus rolls. He makes it look so easy to match white asparagus with Mishima beef. A little gravy on the side makes it a perfect way to wrap up the beefy dinner. Today's challenger brings youth and beauty into Kitchen Stadium, Kumiko Kobayashi. She selects as her opponent, Iron Chef French, Hiroyuki Sakai. A French cuisine affair, Chairman Kaga unveils the theme ingredient, Mishima beef, the choicest of all beef in Japan. The challenger, fighting through injury, produces four dishes. The Iron Chef puts forward a set of five. And now, the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today are photographer Tenmei Kano, actress Megumi Oishi, artist Korn, and fortune teller Kazuko Hosoki. First, the dishes of challenger Kobayashi. Yes. Yes. Well, it's a very serious cook-off, so I got quite fired up, more than, than I usually do, yes. The sauce is light, using balsamico vinegar. Mm -hmm. It has many flavors, but it does construct one dish, so it allows me to experience what Mishima beef really tastes like. Mm. If it were ordinary beef, the beef would stand out in a dish like this, almost too strongly. But this beef matches with every ingredient on this plate. The challenger serves portions of her sirloin consomme stew. Uh, she's prepared a more, more classic French dishes. She's taken really a different approach from Iron Chef Sakai's dishes. This is great. This is fantastic. I tried it with the foie gras, and the savory aroma of the foie gras is just so perfect with the raw filet carpaccio. Mine doesn't have foie gras on it. Huh? Oh, I'm so sorry, <laughs> ma'am. That's why you look so unhappy, Hosoki-san. <laughs> I thought something was wrong with this dish. <laughs> this really does justice to the quality of Mishima beef, I think. And with foie gras, what's, what's better than this? I really feel sorry for you having to watch me eat this. 
There is a really classic dish in France, a chicken dish served with cocoa powder. I, I took a hint from that dish. I am totally surprised by this one. Yes. Yeah, I'm surprised too. Only on this program can you have something like this. Right. Nothing like this out there. <laughs> Only in Kitchen Stadium. This dish is really charming. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. I like her dishes, all of them, of course, but I've also become a fan of hers as a woman. Yes. I'm not sure if her husband agrees, but she seems like a real go-getter to me. Very aggressive, I think. Yes, I do. I think so. Now, Iron Chef Sakai's dishes. It is the best beef in Japan, I agree. The, the marble beef is great, the sirloin is great, but with that much marbling, it makes it difficult to figure out what to match with it. This meat is really tough. <laughs> Very tough. <laughs> he was trying to come up with the best ways to enjoy the marble meat. And I say this is great stuff. Yes, he is. It's good. How about the rice? Huh, the rice is a bit... I'm enjoying the fat even more than the meat itself. This is really refreshing, this rice. Uh, uh, unbelievable. I wanted you all to enjoy the fat. With that much fat? With this much fat, it's not mm, greasy I can't at all. Stop. I say it's very good. <laughs> The taste is so profound. I can enjoy this after all those other meat dishes. I could just keep on eating this meat, I think. You know, this reminds me of a noodle shop everyone goes to over and over, and you never get tired of it. You wonder, how can they make such perfect soup? Well, I can eat this every day. It's just great. Now his pièce de résistance, sirloin grilled in wood sheets. The fat is almost translucent. I finished it with a subtle aftertaste with mustard. Mm. This speaks for the original flavor of Mishima beef, as it is. You know, at parties, chefs slicing roast beef and people lining up for it. If it was this, I wouldn't mind going up for at least three rounds, no matter how long the wait. <laughs> <laughs> this sauce suppresses the fat and it perfects the dish. As for myself, I'm not a big eater, but I could go for two rounds. I would, I would stop after one serving. I think the sauce is a bit weak for this meat. The meat is not so sweet as I imagine for me. I agree with him. This dish is not impressive enough. The sauce, everything, it's too weak. <laughs> I usually like filet better than sirloin, but today I enjoyed the garlic rice fried with the fat. That opened my eyes to sirloin, yes. The marble meat is what makes Mishima beef the best in Japan, but the Iron Chef, he tried too much to kill the fat. I'm saying I wanted him to be a bit bolder as an Iron Chef. Some harsh assessments for the Iron Chef. Now we await the verdict. Today in Kitchen Stadium, our challenger, a culinary critic whose background includes training at one of France's top restaurants, Kumiko Kobayashi, battling in front of her husband, her teachers, and supporters. She was game against Iron Chef Hiroyuki Sakai. Does her energy and fire eclipse his skill and expertise? Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? It's the Iron Chef! Sakai comes away with the victory in this Mishima beef battle. Another win for him, but it wasn't easy, it never is. And there were a few moments in the tasting when it looked touch and go. He might drop this, but he doesn't. A great effort today by challenger Kobayashi. All right, check the scoring. Kano, 1918, the challenger. Oishi, 1817, Iron Chef. Korn, 1918, Iron Chef. Hosoki, 1715, Iron Chef. Three to one, Sakai takes it. 
The challenger did well, but not enough to take down the veteran and resourceful Iron Chef. He wins it. Answer not the question, where's the Mishima beef, but who's the man to prepare it? You're looking at him, Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai. I'd say she did very well. She did her best. You know, I'm in the pro baseball field, and I know career really has meaning in the world of professionals. That's one thing I can say to her.